fucking cretinous motherfucking retards. No, no, these are night owls, TJ. Oh, yeah, that's right. These are our night people. Yeah, these are night people. They're objectively better than day people. Day people are scum! I think that- SCUM! I think that bumper music we used is way more intense <laughs> than, this movie. than this movie is gonna be at <laughs> any point. Oh, fuck us. Fuck us in the ass. I've got Kool-Aid. We, so were not, I'm, I'm we were not late. Suck my dick. We were we not were late. We were dead on time, In man. fact, sorry to disappoint you, chat, but we ain't even looking at your ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, chat. Yeah. Go fuck yourselves, chat. You, you're dead to us, We've chat. We've got a better way for people to chat now. We don't need you now. Uh, down below in the description is a link uh, if you'd like to send us tips. We've got it set up so it'll pop up on the screen. Yeah. And it'll be running throughout the show. And, uh, you know, if you want to add your two cents or five dollars or whatever the fuck, that's your way to do it. Yay! Give us your money. We need money. There, it's actually kind of cool. When, when you give us money, Chunk does the truffle shuffle. Yeah. You want to see Chunk do the truffle shuffle? You want to show him a test? I guess we could do that. We could show him what it looks like. We could show him a little test, I guess. Show him Chunk doing the truffle shuffle, dude. To have money. Yes. Yeah, look at him. Look at that look at him fat go. little fuck go. The inspiration that for little an entire of generation shit. of fat kids. I fucking dude. hate that little shit. Oh, fuck you, man. He's the... Whatever. I'm not going to get into fuck it here. Fuck you, man. The best movie ever made. I didn't say it was the best, best movie ever made. made. Don't put fucking words in my mouth, Yo, fuck, TJ. Go jerk off to some more goonie fucking chunk... Sloth, whatever the fuck his name is. Dude, I can't help the fact that the movie gonna, is written the way it's written. I'm putting my chair lower so I don't tower over you as much as I naturally do, Paul. Well, thank you, TJ. I, I, I did this that. for your benefit. This is less comfortable for me, but I'm doing it for you, Paul, because you're a short little midget fuck. Dude, I'm not a midget. You're just a gargantuan behemoth of a man. All right. So let's take a little look at Space Mutiny. I think it might already be playing. I'm not sure. Ah. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, oh whoa. Now it's like midway through. There okay, we go. Okay, there we go. Boom. Space mutiny. Space mutiny. Play, you fuck. There it goes. It's going. All right. Good times. <laughs> I already hate this. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, man. How do you suck this quick? Winter's Holiday Production. Gotcha. I kind of dig this stupid music. <laughs> it's kind of got, uh, have you ever seen War Games? Yeah. It's kind of got that feel to the intro. Yeah, a little bit. Space Mutiny! Why is the M cut off? I bought a DVD and that full M's not on there. <laughs> Send it back. Reb? Who the fuck is named Reb? Reb? There's someone named Reb! Must be Neb's cousin. Reb the Neb. The fuck did. Oh, there it is. Music by. Wow, it took three people to write that. Why are there so many editors? You don't need three fucking editors! This is a tour de force, TJ. A tour de force. But one writer. Maria Dante. Gotcha. Nether Soul? Oh, I guess we should tell people too while this is endlessly going on that Super Chats will will show up too here, right? I believe they're supposed to. I think we've got it Let's set up for it. Let's do a test Super it. Chat. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 13 generations ago, our overpopulated world built the Southern Sun. A self-sufficient <coughs> spaceship that would be home to thousands of migrants. Oh my a god. <laughs> new and uncolonized world. Our Fashion, the final have frontier. Accept the southern sun as their home and work for a better future for their children. So humanity is While stuck on a of ship. The of this generation are content. Uh-huh. There are some who have grown restless and impatient. That's kind of reasonable if you're like raised your entire life on one ship. Yeah, is this going to be another one of those movies where I, uh, 
empathize with the good guy or the bad guys more than the good guys because they're like, fuck this, we're trapped on this ship. How come they have windows in the ship? And how come those windows appear to be overlooking a sunny day those outside? Are, they're made that way to oh, give the they're... impression that you're outside when really you're trapped in the ship in the cold of space, TJ. Oh. I gotcha. Attention. Prepare for shuttle Lancer We've landing. Got to have money. Hello, fat neck beards. Here's my money. Well, thank you. I like money. We have initiated landing procedures. <coughs> that was the rind of Zhao Dedong, by I the way. I think I'm gonna make the uh, <coughs> the size of their uh, <coughs> names and shit a little smaller. Yeah, we cranked it pretty high. Roger. Okay, so where are these shuttles going? If all of humanity lives on this one ship, are they like they're looking for a new? Are they going to place? and fro? I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, fuck, TJ, you're supposed to know about this movie. I'm not an expert in this shit. You're the one that wanted to do this. You're the space mutiny guy. The space mutiny guy. Like, I fucking love this. Uh, Roger, Dork 3. Sweet! Okay, this I can give... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Um, hi, Mom. <laughs> How's it going? You were going down to the docking bay to meet your friend from Coriolis, you better hurry. The Viper's in final approach. Uh, well, I came down to check that he's on the flight. Lieutenant Lamont. Okay. All right. Commander. Contact the pilot of the Stingray Viper and ask if Professor... The Spooner Stingray Viper? Dude, what a badass name. <laughs> All right. Movie, you gotta stick with Stingray yeah, or Viper. Viper. Nah, dude. Both. Stingray. The Stingray Viper, dude. The Stingray Viper. <laughs> Why don't I just... The Stingray Viper Cobra Ultra Deluxe. $25. Well, thank you. Okay. Uh. This is dork. <laughs> what, what, like, I, I'd like to play this game. Yeah. I don't know why everything looks like this in the future. Okay, so that's what it's actually supposed to look like. Why, why are there blinky things on your head? What is that going to do? Pro, it's, be, they're flying it with their brain. So it has to blink? Yes. Name of the king of Dungeon te Siege Tale? Maybe. I've seen a little bit of that. Have you ever seen that? That's a Uwe Boll film. No. Oh, no, I haven't. I've heard about it, but I have not seen it. That is ass. And not a nice ass either. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm high, but I'm kind of digging this space combat shit, man. I think your mind is just reminded enough, just enough of Star Wars Maybe. that you're like, oh, it's kind of like Star Wars. That's probably what it is. But once you realize that, you just kind of wish you were watching Star Wars. Gee, I wonder if he's evil. Is that the fucking uh, liquid metal Terminator? No. <laughs> What's he doing in this movie? You see that sneer, like... Like, yeah, drop, you need to drop any more hints that you're the bad guy yet? Pirate ship destroyed. <laughs> Is the guy with the big poofy beard a good guy? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he so is. He so is. What? Pirate ship breaking off and in retreat. Stingray with David Ryder and the professor preparing to land. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop. Stingray for sun control. Inventor that sting looking motherfucker just looked like he saw a nice dick on the sun, monitor sun. somewhere. Roger Stingray. It's like, ooh. Change to frequency 0015. So and women are not allowed to have dignity Roger in the future. Yeah, I they're guess. just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, one piece bathing suits only, <laughs> ladies. Oh, I guess men aren't either, though, so it's fair. Yeah. Because I don't know what the fuck. That looks Big, like an American gladiator's uniform. Dignity is an outmoded concept by this point, TJ. Meanwhile, in the ship's boiler room, I don't know. Can I help you? Is Freddy down there? Excuse me, sir. Maybe they used the audio from the people sir, that actually own this doing? factory that they tried to ninja film this in. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> sir! What are you doing here? It's good to know that plastic explosives are still the same shit, you know? Yeah. Wouldn't you be struggling a little harder if he was pointing a gun at you? I'm, I'm, dude, I'm cool that there was blood. 
You like blood, huh? Well, if somebody's gonna get shot with a laser that rips their chest open or some shit, like, why does it kill them if there's no blood? That's my always been my question with lasers. That's true. You know what I mean? You know, I just realized there might be tits in this movie. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I hope not. Huh. Because that might be a difficulty, but we'll see. Cut main rocket. Reduce boost power to five you are now on the Southern Sun's guidance control system. Well, see you later on Vimeo, I guess. <laughs> Keep the energy for the magnetic strobes constant at 200,000. Yes, sir. Constant and holding. <laughs> I hope there are tits, kind of. I mean, it would be better for us if there weren't, but... But I, you still hope there are. <laughs> it would sweeten this movie up. Just so the movie's like, well, at least there are saw them titties. I just hope it's not the bearded guy's wife's titties. I hope those are That's supposed to be his daughter. Oh, whatever. Don't spoil it, TJ. That's, I mean, it's literally supposed to be his daughter. Is it really? Yeah. Energize our emergency landing. I, they, they, I think it's already said in the dialogue. It's That's his daughter? Blast power! Blast power! Plot ejection. Oh, pilot. <laughs> pilot. <laughs> Plot ejection. <laughs> that was ejected right from the get go. Yeah. They don't need to eject that. Damage control. Oh shit, dog. Well. Aw, oh, snap, you're dead. Attention, pilot beam down successful. Medical team stand by. Fire control to docking bay. Whoa. Look out, it's gonna blow. They're talking about the movie again. <laughs> yeah, look out, this is gonna blow. <laughs> no, it's Beardy Guy's wife. Look at her old tits jiggling around. Dude, there is no way, dude, that they tried to pass. Why? So, I mean, like, that's got to be, like, so which, someone, someone who financed this movie's wife or something. Yeah, I was going to say, which in, which of those endless stream of producers from the beginning's wife is this? <laughs> what happened, Lieutenant? The Viper was locked into the Sun's guidance control, Commander, and we lost power. <laughs> I could not, oh. dude. I can't. Shit, you not, dude. I could not take a leader that was dressed and adorned like that seriously, dude. Right here, go ahead. Not in a million years. I would follow this guy just based on the fact that he looks like a normal human being. I'm sorry, the information is so scanty, but I'll send you up more. Scanty. Scanty info. Okay. Shrimps. Shrimp scanty. Gotcha. I don't know, Paul. He just looks like, kind of like an older, not as fat version of you. Yeah. I mean, the thought did cross my mind that maybe this is me in the future saving humanity. You know what I mean? I maybe this is my destiny. Keeping people enslaved on some ship. Yeah. Well, I'm not keeping them enslaved. Look at him. I'm like Santa Claus. We repair the damage. You know, I'm thinking more about the possible motive. Why? Come in. What? You Why what? On the Why the explosion? Today. Also, the pirate fleet's position. Oh, so what? Load the file into the computer. Why? How is that notable? Like, like I'm thinking more about the motive ever since three seconds ago when that ship blew up. So I'm wondering why someone did that. Yeah. I mean, that's like some sh line you'd say like five years you later. You think faster in the future. In the future. Oh. They've already experienced the the moment a million times. You just don't understand, TJ. Somehow you've lost the plot to this fucking fa fine film. <laughs> I don't film. know, man. Is your new home? I know it doesn't look like much, but if you'll bear with us, I'm sure we can make you quite comfortable. Oh. Leave. We Valerians wish to be alone. This place will serve our purpose. I think if there's going to be titties, this is going to be the this, source. <laughs> yep, dude. That's where the titties are going to come in if they're in. Should we, like, pause and try and maybe scrub past the titty part if we uh, can? It's a pleasure having you on board. Gentlemen? Hold on. Let's see. Because I think it's about, yeah. It's about Let's to happen, see. dude. The unveiling of the, big of the teats uh, is about to happen. No, they're going to make you wait. The, the big, jiggly, delicious titties. You guys will just have to wait till later for the titties, I guess. <laughs> I guess uh, I could try to switch us over to that if titties happen. Yeah. And we can just, like, yeah. 
You just have to be Johnny on the spot, though. Soup. Or we could just... For the price of one. I mean, the second it appears, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to like, stop all titty from happening, you know? <laughs> Sometimes the titties can't be contained. No, I need you to commit to a 100% titty stop rate. I can't do it. You asked too much, Paul. They're wearing, like, SS on their uniforms? What the fuck? Space Nazis? We need Space Antifa to come fucking hit them with sticks or something. Yeah. This is how villains talk. And more important, Nobody can leave her. Excellent. They no longer have a choice. <laughs> wow, you guys have the exact same performance. Couldn't That's this cool. guy? I was gonna say that. Could this guy just been <laughs> condensed down to one role, save a little money? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Playing this same Why do we need two greasy, gravelly guys talking at each other? You know what I mean? Soon we will win. Yes. Yes, TJ, we shall. <laughs> We are both evil. <laughs> totally. Now they have no alternative but to accept my generosity and alter course. Show them Call teeth. Of Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> What's the report from damage control? It's not complete yet, Captain. But the first reports indicate that two of our LM5000 Exxon drive motors have been sabotaged. Sabotage. This also affects the performance of one of our Vixen Pulse drive generators. Vixen Pulse? It Vixen, yeah. Everything's Vixen respect. Pulse in the future. Didn't you know that? Shit. <coughs> Shut down. Yes, sir. <coughs> oh, one other thing. Vixen Yourself Pulse. Does the lead Vixen in this show have a pulse? Uh, one of the missiles oh. from the Viper took oh. out the video control tower. Damn, that was brutal. But we are trying I keep to focusing on the, the fucking weird robot. moles or whatever the fuck they are in his fucking head. <laughs> I, my eyes drawn away by the it's '90s bleach wall. job. I just that keep, see that's. I think I keep expecting all star, and it's not. My happening. eyes keep getting drawn to the bleach the job, and then I see the th the fucking the triangle of like weird the moles the growing out of his fucking head, law. and I can't no, help but no, fucking pay attention to only that. I think I've learned to like look away from the mole. It seems that we are not all in agreement. Yeah. This guy's captain of the hate boat, dude. Yes, <laughs> deadly hate so boat so members. Uh, the hate boat. Uh, the dorkiest uh, bunch of pirates ever, by the way. Look at these guys. That one hasn't even gone through puberty yet, dude. Will you? He hasn't even got his first pube. This looks like a group of accountants that all agreed to go to like a fucking Star Trek convention together. <laughs> Dude, I see way, I've seen more butch people at Star Trek conventions. Oh, I guess they don't like this guy. Look at those flippity floopity arm flappities, dude. What are those? What purpose would those serve? They look awesome in the future. Cause not everybody's wearing them. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't actually paying attention, so I don't know. Are there any other of you? Killed him with a bicycle pump? No, I I know why. I just didn't. With treason. Yeah, because he was the lone dissenter amongst the evils to this plan. And so he just cemented his power by stabbing this dude to death with his cane. You have done well. This may be the best movie I've seen yet this year. I don't want to call it too early, but. Scott Devers. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Never mind. <laughs> Take it all back. <laughs> uh, oh my god, they didn't know. <laughs> For some reason, I want his name to be Lunce Krug. Is this a porno? Yeah, Mr. Ryder? They're gonna start. Dick fun. Ryder's here. The Vixen Drive is warming up. When you called him Dick Ryder, I looked at the bulge in his pants. I'm like, holy shit. Well, oh, you want to ride his dick? No, they, just, they, they fucking... Sure, like either that dude is huge or they fucking stuffed way. a bunch in there. Let's see, dude. Take a chair. I don't see anything. It was when he was sitting down. Oh. It like was like... Yes, okay, let's see. Up a video yeah, they're not going to show us. Yes, sir. I mean, this might not even be the same day. The <laughs> You are now on the Southern Sun guidance control system. Over. Pilot control. Matthew Modine? Warning. Critical power loss. 
Oh, oh yeah, my aunt Barbara had one of those. The titties are coming. The titties are coming. Man, those came back into popularity <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Spencer's Gifts is a very popular <laughs> store aboard the ship, and you know. Spencer's <laughs> gifts. Who are these people? These are the alien chicks. Oh yeah, the ones that crash landed on the ship. Boobs. Uh oh. Boobs. All right, have your finger on the trigger, TJ. It's on there. It's on there. I mean, you know, all this is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, this is okay. Just don't show no titties, because we didn't we didn't check this movie first. Oh yeah. We don't know if this is appropriate for families on YouTube. We love, we love it. 660 through Super Chat. Oh, well, thank you very much. Is this Star Trek Next Generation? I'm drunk and I don't know what's going on. No. It, this is the new Star Trek that's going to be on CBS. <laughs> yeah, we got the preview this is copy. Star, we're, this, we got an early copy of Star Trek Discovery. <laughs> we're taking a look. So far, we're a little, I mean, like, the way they pay homage to the 60s show is kind of cool and all, but... But it's a little over the top so far. Yeah. But I don't know. We're not ready to call it yet. Commander, I'm sorry about that. Could go either way. <laughs> the new Picard is jolly, you know, so... <laughs> Make it so ho ho! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no! You had us all worried. Please, next time there's a fire... Leave it to damage control. You okay? Okay. Damage control? Time, young lady, Someone needs to do that way. on her face. Dad, I was there. The pilot what the fuck? How old is this bitch? Right Dude, this like, lady no, has got to be in her mid-40s. discussion. Mid-40s. Mid-40s. At least. Professor never had a chance. I'm saying, like, mid-40s. I'm saying late-40s. Leah! That's a little later than I'm willing to go, but I'm saying she's at least 45, 44. She's in that range, man. I mean, I don't mean to be ageist or anything, but this role seems to have been written for a younger girl. It does I mean, I guess it's plausible that Santa Beard could have fathered somebody her age, so... Sure. But... Commander? When he was 15, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah. This movie sucks. Oh, man. <clears throat> well, that's why we're here, TJ. We're yeah. here to make it suck a little less. I don't know if we can do it. We, we've I'm done it so to, far. I'm not up to the fucking task. What is this? What are their uniforms? Why does every scene... I don't scene, know. Why are there different uniforms in every scene? Are there, like, eight different factions no of things going on? Yeah, the SS one is recurring. So this is on the evil... This is an evil ship guy. They're all on the same fucking ship. Uh, give me an audio video link of Bridge. Is it Johnny Depp? Seven. Please hurry. Or is it Rick Moranis? From the engine room area. It's Johnny it's Moranis. <laughs> is that Johnny Moranis, dude? Yeah. Did Johnny Depp and Rick <laughs> Moranis fuck? Let's see. Let's get a better look at him. It could go either way. What the fuck? Johnny Depp and Rick Moranis don't even look alike, and they kind of look like We're definitely what? short on conventional ballistic explosive. He even kind of sounds like what you'd expect. With a tinge of Freddie Mercury. Oh, Johnny Moranis Mercury? Oh my god! Does this guy do anything but frown at things? <laughs> Evilly! Oh shit, so this is a dude trying to save the people on the ship. For the sake of security, I think it would be better if you came up here and asked for me. Lieutenant Lamont. Send a couple of men over there to stop that engineer before he gets to the bridge. Unless I get to him first. Okay, so that just answers, I guess, my question uh, earlier. This faction is on- they're all on the same ship. Right. Yeah, they're all on the same ship. There's not like a pi- because I thought there was some pirates outside the ship. But no. I don't think so. This is all happening on the same place. Yeah, so why is there such <laughs> crazy disparity between uniforms? Each section of the ship has its own uniform, I guess. And why are they all tunics? Well, no, I guess these aren't. Those are like pantsuits. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Run, Johnny Moranis. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I shrunk your plan. 
Captain Jean-Luc Beard as Paul in 30 years. Maybe. Maybe so. Who fucking knows? Dude, I'm a pretty important guy if I'm the captain of the last ship of humans, dude. <clears throat> Third engineer Steve Cadell. You have two choices. Join me <laughs> or the deep freeze. I'd, I'd join him. Calgan. Be my guest. So they stopped ah, this guy before he could get up to the bridge. So his whole plot line was pointless. <laughs> so he should have just went up to the bridge first and yeah. not called. Yeah, maybe you should. Yeah, maybe you should have done that. I don't know. Good point. Maybe he'd have been better off. Yeah. Pointless to think about that now because he was just introduced and now he's dead. <laughs> what was he there for? We I already know. knew there was a mutiny. What did that establish? But this is why this woman Listen, is a little unbelievable because she's she's being portrayed here as a feel. much younger woman. Because this dude is not like you know whatever. Look at them wrinkles in the neck. Yeah, I know, dude. That's a telltale. The turkey I neck. Do I had to do. Don't you think I realized a good man died? The this man guy's like twenty-five, him. dude. He's ready to roll, and she's like forty. Yeah, Wait, and it's strange. I wasn't aware that you knew him. What difference does it make? He's dead, and there's nothing we can do about it. Clearly Forget chosen it. for his I'm acting chops. <laughs> Forget it. There's nothing we can do about it. He's dead. What? The hula hoop is still in in 3033? The hula hoop is back in in 3033. Oh, okay. So that's why all this shit just looks like something out of an 80s nightmare. Yeah. Because, like, the 80s are back in a big way in 3033. It's, it's the, the guards, guards and the pirates versus, versus Reb Brown's, Brown's group. group. Okay. Who the fuck is Reb Brown again? I, I, so I don't know. Reb. Reb. Thanks for your clarifying comment. Uh, that probably helps somebody out there that's maybe not as stoned as we are. Not as stoned or not as stupid. That the, well, those two things are kind of yeah, kind of one and the same. Oh my god! Look, there's hotter bitches right next to you. Oh. Ah! No! She's gonna pull a fucking muscle, man. She's gonna pull a hip if she keeps doing this. If she keeps exerting herself in this way. Someone says the the main characters are married in real life, so this guy is actually with this chick in real life. Really? I guess. Maybe that's how she got on. Maybe they really thought they had to have this buffed out Brock Landers guy. Thanks for your support, even though you apparently love the DPRK for some reason. Oh, whatever. <laughs> what a DPRK dollar don't spend, TJ? It show do. Long live capitalism. On what? Bitch. Whether or not he wants to accept it. So these two really are these two really fucking real life, huh? Yeah, but I'll get over The bitch next to her is way yeah, hotter than her. The like, I don't again? know, dude. I saw. I mean, yeah, if it's just, if she if I, she's the same one I saw from the front a minute ago, right. she's hotter. Yeah, dude. I think the chick tending bar is hotter. You like it here? That's not bad. That brown-haired chick on the bridge is hotter. Yeah. That's odd. What's that? What's that's odd. there's everything about this is odd. Yeah, exactly. Why do you build fucking nightclubs out of PVC pipe and shit in the future? Yeah, how do you look out over this ocean Why of retardism and go, that's odd, not point? <laughs> Why are hula hoops back? What is he supposed Why to is, look at in response? Why is to that? the wall made of fucking plastic sheeting? I mean, this looks like something that would have existed in the in the eighties at some point. It looks like an eighties kind of nightclub. I mean. As a, set in, this, as a set in this movie, that yes. did exist. Yeah. Thank you, that was a physical place where once you could stand and have that years. shit be going on around you. That is my Man. business. It's weird shit, Paul. I'd jump back to that back. to not be in this fucking current timeline. What was that? What did he shoot? Huh? Pew. Oh, her. Dead. She did. There, are there no security cameras on this ship? There they go. Let's take this. Just run after it. It's going like zero miles an hour. It's you could fucking skip after it. 
What is that? Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> you don't get to laugh maniacally while riding in that. <laughs> Hi ho silver, away! And she's got a fucking missile launcher? Yeah, well they're dead. Fire it. Was this their answer to like the speeder fights in the Star Wars film and shit? Uh, this is... This like is the, the land speeders? <laughs> This we is can't a, do no, that. You know what this is? This is an answer to the question, what's the lamest thing you've ever seen? I mean, this is definitely Dude, this not is the, the lamest. No, but it's this, is the, this is a car chase equivalent of a bitch boy slap fight. <laughs> yeah. This is not what, I mean, come on. This is pretty bad. But I mean, whatever. At least they did it practically in some sense, you know? They built the little go-karts and they drove them around and exploded the explosions, you know? Cool, yeah. Rock on. Gotta, gotta love it. I'd rather be watching this, is what I'm saying, than that shitty fucking computer simulation from before. With somebody reacting to it every once oh, in a shit. while. Everything went dark. Oh no. I thought... Alright. Usually, most programs know when you're playing a movie not to fucking turn the screen dark, but I guess this program doesn't tell the computer not to do that, so. Sweet. Sorry for that. I'll try to remember to jiggle the mouse every so often. Yeah, y anyway, you need to be touching that mouse because you never know when you're going to have to jiggle away some titties, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. The bar scene reminds me of a typical Midwestern strip club where the clothed somethings do something. Thanks for the comment. <laughs> Sorry. You got censored. It's Spaceballs, but worse without the self-aware comedy. Where do we begin? Don't compare Spaceballs to yeah, this bullshit. Yeah, please. Spaceballs is infinitely better than this. This is not. Spaceballs is way better than this by any metric. What? Whoa! Whoa! Too bad she can't hit anything with it. Fire that fucking bazooka at him. He's got a pistol. Man, it's a good thing no one can fucking aim. Shit. Whoa. Yeah, these are like stormtroopers, definitely. Never hit anybody. This really was just like a Star Wars milking ripoff. Yeah, this thing, movie wasn't it? this movie just really, really fucking desperately wants to be Star Wars. Okay. All right, a Star Wars Stormtrooper, like, at least has an intimidation factor. These these are the worst henchmen ever. Pew. Pew. Oh my god, the sucks. Pew, pew, gallop, gallop. Somebody please hit somebody. <laughs> preferably preferably oh the old lady. How many back and forths do they think we need to establish that gun battle? Way happening? too many. Pew pew. No, pew pew to you. <laughs> a pew pew to you. Well, I, well, excuse me, but a pew pew right back at you. Uh, it just literally went pew pew, right, dude. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. You heard that, right? You heard yeah. it go pew pew. It was doing pew pew when they were shooting at each other. But that one actually sounded like fucking pew pew. They probably, that wasn't even a sound effect. That movie just literally said it, okay? <laughs> Maybe they got to the end and they're like, fuck. Just say pew pew. Do you really believe, sir, that this act of sabotage is good? Something to do with our navigation, of course. Yeah, I'm convinced. This proves it. Okay, so this dude with the blonde hair has the SS on. Yeah, so he's like, so he's in. He's on. obviously evil too, right? right? Yeah. The Corona Borealis, pirate territory. And he also talks right. evil as well. So he does. He Not quite as over the top evil as his buddies, but he's British, which yeah. automatically ups the evil quotient like a notch. Okay. Yeah, notch or two. Yeah. It's always very dangerous to speculate. Yes, sir. So it would have to be somebody. <laughs> this guy sounds like somebody you would Game. sit down next to in a bar in like <laughs> New Jersey. It's always a bad idea to speculate. The, <laughs> the enforcer. Shit. It's very perilous for everyone on board. We do not make wild accusations. 
so we keep this top classified secret. Wait, there's a mutiny aboard the ship? And you think the best way to deal with it is to keep it secret? A space mutiny, TJ. How is that the best course of action? Like, people are all in imminent danger if there's a fucking mutiny aboard the ship. Who the fuck is this doddering old fool? Yes. Can I help you? Yes, you can. We're looking for the Enforcer's headquarters. I just really shit my britches! Lonely here. Can I show you around? <laughs> what is this? The, is this guy from like the Hammer fucking what? Come Frankenstein on, films? Oh, this looks interesting. Yeah, that does look kind of interesting. What the fuck is going on? Uh, creepy would be another way I'd describe it. This looks interesting. Would you care for a spot wait? Tea? This is like bondage shit, isn't it? Don't people like to be like well, uh, strapped up to poles with fucking saran wrap and shit? What are all these bodies for? Those are real Person people. Collection. collection? Yes. When anyone is under suspicion, they're immediately arrested, tortured, and. I missed my mom's wake for this stream. No regrets. Cool. Thank you. No longer use. I mean, regret, so wait, regrets to your mom. What is, what is going on in this room? Into space. However, if they Sorry, see what? Culgan freezes them. He freezes them. That means all the enforcers are corrupt. And Calgon's running his own personal army here. All That's of them. Correct. That's convenient. It's convenient when the mutiny is drawn along such rigid lines. So, so wait, assume, uh, presumably this guy's section of the ship that is the enforcers or whatever is a necessary function of the ship so if every single one of them is part of the mutiny then after the mutiny's over even if you win there's not gonna be any enforcers so your ship is still fucked you've lost an entire sector of workers yeah. that presumably serve a fucking function aboard the ship well, Are you trying to rationalize like space yeah. mutiny, I don't TJ? Know why. why? I don't know why. I don't why? know why. I just... People are walking around with shoulder pads out to here, and you're like, here's what they should be doing! It's like, why? This is I want to know! This is dog shit from start to finish. I hate when something tries to have a story. Okay. Yeah, well... I don't know what word that is. <laughs> I don't even know what, I, what the fuck is going on here. <coughs> I'm just trying to turn off this fucking <coughs> shit. Oh well, I won't talk about that woman. right now. Have you seen them? Yes. I'm gonna try to get the the sensors to be a little bit less crazy. Let's go. But I'll have to do that next time. Yeah, we don't really care to censor cuss words, so. Yeah. People should be able to curse. Yeah, so sorry about that. We'll fill in cuss words. We'll try and find out what cuss you tried to cuss. Let's go. What the tits, dude? Let's go. Hey, remember this scene? It's back. Pew, 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 pew. It rhymed with Dorn. Cool. Porn? Porn? Really? Forlorn? Forlorn? Gorn? Children of the corn? It's space balls, but worse, and without the self-aware comedy. Okay. You already said that once. We didn't agree with it then. I don't know that we agree with it anymore now. Yeah, thank you guys for the super chats. Uh, there's a Streamlabs link uh, in the description of this. Forget if you guys it. use that, then, you know, as it is get everywhere back. else. Then Google doesn't get 30%. Exactly. Instead, it all just goes to us, who, is, who you're actually trying to support. So, use the stream, try to use the Streamlabs link if possible. You can use it with PayPal, use your credit card too. Valerian behavior. Valerian behavior. Order of high priestesses. Um, How far have we gotten in this? 
Oh, uh, no. 37 minutes. What? Yep. Welp. 37 minutes. That's I thought I this was wrapping up soon. I thought they were all just the final battles. <laughs> you, thought this was, you thought this was the final battle? Yeah, dude. No, you still got like 50-something uh, minutes of movie left. Where would we be without wishful thinking, TJ? Where would we be indeed? Let's see how, uh, let's see how the people are doing here. I guess I could uh, put the disgusting fucking chat on the screen. Let's see what they're saying. For a moment. Yeah, oh, ugh, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a chance to yeah. save a piece. I guess we could just, I could probably just put him over here. It'll probably just show it. Not on our, no, not, not on, on this, this one, though. But yeah, but it'll probably do it if I do it like this. Uh, well. Not really. Oh, yeah, because that movie's at a it's like weird aspect ratio from the yeah, DVD. Yeah, I forgot that we did It's in the original. Nobody's ever touched up Space Mutiny is what we're saying. Yeah, it's, go figure. Nobody ever bothered to put it in widescreen release, you know. Poor bastards. Poor fucking bastards. All right, I'll uh, grab this real quick. Grabbing the chat. Grabbing the chat by the pussy. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, 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 these fucking faggots. There they are. There they are. Just put it over Paul. Yeah, put, put, yeah, put the chat over my fucking <laughs> head, <you> dude. <laughs> this is uh, Cinema That's... for Cynics with TJ and the chat. Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, I guess they did it through the super chat anyway. So, is this this one? All of these yeah. spaceships are taken from Battlestar Galactica. Really? Really? Like literally? That's kind of a shame. They they stole the Battlestar I mean, shit. The plot the plot is kind of taken from pa Battlestar Galactica too, though. Yeah. Because I mean, isn't the plot to that they're all humanities and like a, I don't think it's one ship. I think it's like a fleet of ships, and they're trying to find a new home planet. That, that's my memory of it. Yeah, I'm talking about the old one. I don't know. Yeah, if the old. I don't one. know if the that's what I'm talking the, about too. I don't know if the plot of the newer one is the same. I assume it stole it from the old one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably. So hopefully, um, I mean, I don't know why. Hopefully, I guess. Rain Santa, hail Satan. Rain Santa. Maybe I could just make us uh, smaller here. Make us tiny. Yeah, squish us down. Squish us down. We're real tiny. We're small oh, guys. yeah. Look at us. Look, look, at how, us. look how cute we look are. Look how tiny and look how cute. We're itty bitty. So pretty. All right. So let's see what this fucking <laughs> dumbass chat is saying. <laughs> Ass Blaster. I love you, TJ. I don't get this fucking plot. I don't think we're supposed to. Pussy is great. Not the pussy of the ingenue of this movie. Uh, um. I don't know. Maybe. If you like wrinkly old dusty pussies, maybe. Oh, hey, Ashley. Ashley's watching at home. That's cool. How do you know she's at home, Paul? She could be anywhere. Yeah, she could be. She could be anywhere in this whole fucking town. Maybe she's on a flight to fucking Guam right now. Yeah, dude. With a Dear John letter waiting for me on the bed when I get home. <laughs> she's just watching this lat. Like, this is her goodbye, you know? She's like, hey. <laughs> Figured I'd watch one more of these before the last ever. Mm. Mm. Love from the alt right, fourteen eighty eight. Fourteen eighty eight, dude. <laughs> what? I don't know. Does it need to make sense? Uh, it really. I mean, shouldn't it though? I mean, when did it stop mattering that chat on things made sense? I mean, I don't know. I feel like chat rooms, even in the earliest days. Oh, of they the were internet, dog shit, but they were not. Like you know. Yeah, I mean, like it's like most things in life, Paul. You know, how, like we we're talking about Premiere Pro earlier. Yeah. And how that's gone to, like, total shit. Yeah. It's like the same degradation has happened on the chat rooms and the quality of, of human beings that exist on the planet. It's just all gone downhill across the board. Stop disagreeing with me. Re! Holy shit. Dude. Re! Damn you. Damn you, Otto Von Bitchmark. Damn Paul, you to hell. I do, should probably do you, put those people on the very top. Do you plan to watch it and review it? I do. I hope to catch, like, a midnight... Release of it. I'm all, I'm also gonna go see that. Yeah, TJ's gonna come with. So. There's no way I can not go see it at this point. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be pretty fucking bad though. That's I mean like I don't like to call things ahead of time, but from what I've seen from the trailer footage and shit, Pennywise looks like dog shit. It just looks bad. Pennywise. 
Hi, Georgie, it's me. It's like Pennywise. The whole premise of it is based around the idea that it's plausible that a child would walk up to Pennywise. Yeah. You can't make him a mutant rat freak in a fucking sewer going, Hey there! No, Georgie's gonna go, Fuck! And run home! You know what I mean? Pennywise would never catch a meal. The whole point of Pennywise is that he's a clown. Kids will go to clowns. He's gotta be believable as something to... Fuck, fuck it. We'll get to that when we get to it. Damn right. Damn fucking right. Okay, I guess we should get back to this movie. Please, uh, if you want to support Cynics versus Cinema as an intellectual property, uh, and you want to see your tip appear on the screen right there below, and you want to see that fat fucking kid jiggling his fat fucking body, then uh, donate to us on Streamlabs. Yep. Give us a little tip. Let us know that you appreciate us. Times is hard here on Watching YouTube. Watching this dog shit. Times is hard, man. Yeah. We appreciate your help. Thank you for the donations. We got the demonetization blues here on the YouTube. Yeah. All right. Back to this piece of shit. Oh, this is still happening. Cool. I forgot these bitches existed. Death to all the imperialism and death to capitalism. Okay, thanks, True Dank. You you know, you no know, bro. Yeah, you woke. <laughs> you. Yes. Uh oh, wait, get your finger on the trigger, TJ. All right, I'll do it. The people of the Southern Sun are no longer able to distinguish light from dark. Your people are falling prey to the powers of darkness. We'll still get to see Listen, the titties. I speak powers of darkness. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Use this money to buy jelly donut Oreos. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I think they're more than two. Oh, now she's got uh, a black swimsuit on. All right. Okay, so. No titties. I think no, we're. No, I think we're. Tits ain't gonna happen. Though. I don't think so. That'd have happened by now. You think? I don't know. I just don't feel like hovering my finger over that shit. You the way to truth. Now you must use what you have learned. Face Calgan and his evil. I will. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Roll for a 20-year-old played by a 45-year-old in a high-speed chase with uh, I call this air tugs going five miles per hour. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty good summary. My prime I don't know what the is fuck is going on anymore. Responsibility in shaping this movie barely has any plot, and yet it, what little it does is confusing beyond belief. Then again, we me talking Cal over a bunch of the dialogue, probably. Large amounts of explosives. Yeah, that doesn't help. Has help. helped me not understand what the fuck is going on. I, I think I'm pretty up to date on what's going on here. What happened with the bitch in his room just now? Uh, that's the alien chick uh -huh. that that, that, that came from earlier, and she sought him out to teach him about so. something. I don't know about what, because we talked through that. Okay. I'd understand it if we were a rich cargo ship carrying minerals or weapons. But what can they expect to achieve from the likes of us? People. The southern sun could recolonize one of the planets of the constellation, or be redispersed to slavery. You don't want to re have him yeah, redo that line? Can be worked out. Okay. Yes, yeah. you're making space mutiny, so whatever. You think he's just dreamt up the scheme overnight? He's been planning this, this mutiny, and he's worked out all the details. And you can count on it that he's got all of his men behind him. Now, Commander, I've done all the talking I intend to do. So Good. If you'll please excuse me. See Good. you later. Uh, at least somebody's reasonable. Get out of here. That's good to know. <laughs> Thanks. One less fucking thing to worry about. My father <laughs> and his father before him were both reasonable men. I, however, I am not. Tried to follow in their footsteps. Were they, were they also I'm jolly a man men? Who believes in peace, not war. Captain Devers and I have decided, David, if you will accept, we would like to name you as our new flight commander. And we trust and pray you will make We've been together for five minutes. Of peace, and we will in due course. Dude, their relationship. 
got real fucking intense real quick in this movie. Yeah. How much time has, has passed exactly? 30 minutes. I mean... <laughs> They just, hey, dude, sometimes when love happens, Has the happens, passage of CJ. time happened and I just missed it? Or what is going on? Passion can bloom Captain even on the bloodiest of battlefields, the CJ. Of Commander Jensen, they had that moment in the cart, you know? In recent weeks, there's been a series of sabotage attacks and murders on board Support the, the DPRK Sun. against U.S. Jewish imperialism. I mean, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The Thanks. <laughs> flight master and chief enforcer Elijah Calgon. It is his intention to take command of the Southern Sun and force us to change our navigational course for the pirate world of Alpaca. People As seem to be taking Sun, this it is my intention really to well. These demands. Therefore, I've relieved Calgon of command and appointed a new flight commander. His name, David Ryder. I hope your trust and confidence in my captain and crew will continue. And together we will seek out this evil among us. And I long for the day when once again peace will prevail aboard the Southern Sun. Thank you. Wow. Gravitas, man. He earned his paycheck. No one day. even seemed to react to that. It's obvious I've underestimated them. What? Mm. It's true, Kelgan. They've managed to uncover even the smallest details of our well-laid plans. The survival Shit. of that Viper pilot, Dave Ryder, and his winning ways with Alex Jensen and his meddling daughter. Of course, that's nothing but grief. Let's kill him. He is a he's, he's a Scooby-Doo villain. Viper Squadron. <laughs> at the end of the fucking yes. at the end of the movie, they're gonna tear his mask off. Oh, be old yes. man withers from the <laughs> apple orchard or some shit. I would have gotten away for it too if it wasn't for that meddling Jack Ryder. Ryder must be eliminated at once. The rest of our problems are more easily solved. I'm growing more and more impatient with the stubborn ungratefulness of that old fool Jansen and the rest of those idiots on the bridge. Who have scorned my offer for a more rewarding future. The Jewish capitalist is one. the enemy. What are we doing Hail next? Stalin. Okay. Locate Rock on, on then. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, thanks for the money, comrade. Okay, yeah, comrade. We should change the light commanders every day. I am so sick of every woman that I see being more attractive than the one that's supposed to be the fucking lead character. I don't know. Maybe well, I'm too sexist. Ha 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 ha. He slipped himself. It's, great dude. You and your ship it's probably a sun. roofie. Here's to you, David. And happy. The sex scene has to start soon in this porno. About. This is the worst Star Wars porn I've ever seen. It really Come is. There's not even any fucking. Leah. Oh, Leah. Oh, is her name Leah? Really? David, I think you'll find her in her usual place. Does it, it doesn't sound like any other names you might be familiar with. No, it? no, it's not reminiscent of another female well, lead in a sci-fi film. You Much you better than young? this one. <laughs> no, not at all. Couldn't even think of any other character with a similar name. <laughs> Ooh. That evil hearth mater just won't give up. Oh, they're fucking. They're fucking with right, Mrs. Titties. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You better be ready on the trigger, dude. Especially since it's this old bitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I put us over there. <laughs> it looks like they're strategically blocking them anyway. <laughs> Thank goodness. Let's just see. So is this really like what's going on? This is on? the hot sex scene of the movie. All right. Are we going to... Uh, 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 uh. It's really looking like they might be just playing coy with show in the tip. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. All right, well. I we think can, we're okay. I think we're fine. <laughs> no! Oh! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, good. It was, just a, it. it was just a little slip, dude. I think I got it in time. It was just a little slip. It was no, it's still sticking out. Did you see it there? You see it there? There it is. It looked so safe. <laughs> it was, they kept strategically blocking it. And then all of a sudden, boom. 
<laughs> Boom! It was just there. Dude, the ninja nip. And it's still there, too, winking me in the face. I know, right? Why did you strategically block it for so long? Just to put it in the fucking movie just now. <laughs> Throughout the whole the whole time they were having sex, we didn't see any nipple. She wraps the blanket around herself and rolls over. We, we open it up and then her titty flops out. What a... I don't even know if that was her nipple. Maybe it, I don't think it was. What? I think it just looked incredibly like a nipple. <laughs> I think the sh there was just like a weird shadow on the tit. Before you get going again. Then we gotta go back and show it if it's not a nipple, right then. I don't know, because I don't know for sure. <laughs> Alright, it's over. Okay. <laughs> then this- then they all rip their tops off. Okay. Cut to this guy jerking off. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not done. Maybe they're just gonna load it all up here at this part in the shitty film. Yeah, just put all the titties in this portion. Yeah. I'm not drunk I'm not enough for, for this film. film. And I started, I started at 9 this morning. Yeah, Fuck. I don't think there is a drunk enough for this film. Come on, it'll be Use Streamlabs. Right. That $10, three of it went to fucking Google, alright? Yeah, that sucks. Don't support those cocksuckers. <sighs> they got <laughs> enough fucking money. Yeah. People might be using uh, Super Chat because we don't have card acceptance yet. Yeah, it's still that's pending. true. We, uh, we'll on the, on the, by the next one of these, you guys will be able to use your cards on Streamlabs and shit. Smoke some more pan, please. You ain't gotta tell me twice, motherfucker. Yeah, seriously. Thank you. I don't even care if they show titties. If they do, we'll just take this down and put it somewhere else or whatever. Or just black out the titties and put it back up. Why didn't you there call me the second they their post? The minute they didn't respond, I came to you. I didn't know what else to do. What happened? I've seen titties on YouTube before. Dude, I want to go back and examine whether or not that was an actual nip or if it was just a weird shadow on the titty. I thought it was the I thought it was the nipple. I thought it was when too. she when she sat up, I'm like, no, that's way too high on her tit unless she got a nipple way up here. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she's maybe she's got like a like a Mark Wahlberg third nipple. Is it okay to show a third nipple? That's a that's an ethical quandary. Maybe we'll test that. Is this the man? What is this shit? Soften him up. <laughs> Baron von Sneer. I don't know. He looks pretty fucking soft already. <laughs> Soften him up <laughs> even more. Soften up this office geek. <laughs> I will give him this. The guy they got to play the villain. He's a terrible actor. Yes. But he knows how to look like a fucking total prick. Yeah, he's a looming I don't prick, like yeah. He does at least have an ice. asshole face that makes him look kind of like, like a low-rent Dennis Hopper or some man? shit. What's the matter, Ranger? Afraid you're losing control? Yeah, I'm losing control over my man and over what I'm responsible for. Don't be so naive. You're also losing you control of your hair in the back you there, that neck. That need to clean that yeah, up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a need, you need to... <laughs> We're getting off this ship with the help of the pirates, and there's nothing you, nor I, nor anybody else can do about it. Not that I'm in, you know, any position this to give grooming advice. <coughs> to those on board the southern sun, well, he's, he thinks he's some kind of clean-cut military fuck, so... Yeah. We have claim you know. on this section of space. Surrender immediately or Maybe don't blow. trust anyone who wears an SS emblem on their fucking shirt. Yeah, like, why are you still sitting next to a dude with an SS red on him? Red alert! We are under fire! We are under fire. I mean, a bunch well, of a them, bunch of them are SS's. Jesus. Where did these guys come from? Who are these? I don't know. Or maybe these are these the are aliens? The, these, are the, these are the pirates, I think. Okay, these are the pirates that we've discussed. Got it. The butt pirates. <laughs> 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 Nobody ever wants to be Beavis. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Fire! 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 You're you're definitely better at Beavis. Than I am, for sure. What is this shit, man? Is this all Battlestar Galactica and then this poor person's factory that they blew up? <laughs> yeah, this poor fuck. 
Yeah, we just want to set up a few bombs in your fucking factory. Lasers? Interior of a factory on fire. <laughs> Lasers? Interior of a factory on fire. Uh, the Jews. Yeah, okay, the Jews. Gotcha. Yeah, we're not going to read any more <laughs> Have fucking fun with that. Marxist Leninist literature. At least not for two much. bucks. Yeah, seriously. Adpocalypse be damned. Thank you. Be damned. Damn you, Gulag. It's hard out here for a pimp, you know? It's hard out here for a pimp. Watching shitty movies for the rent. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Uh. Wow, that's terrible. Fire toe. Fire toe. That was the same shot. We just flipped around, so I don't know why you thought you got away with that. At least use it. Jesus. They're getting more scantily clad as the movie goes on. Why are they, why is everyone drinking? Everybody else is in a, like a big... Yay, I guess. They, they beat the pirates, I guess. So is that why they're drinking? The first group is going to be responsible for making weapons. The second group is going to act as soldiers. The third group is responsible for getting food and supplies. I suggest we close up all... The fourth group is making sure everyone gets enough fruity shoulder pads. Yeah, yeah, woo, yeah. You gotta be kidding Asshole. me. Have you ever heard a more riveting motivational speech? No, dude. Dude, Jean-Claude Van Damme's speech about going after that son of a bitch bison yeah. in Street Fighter, the movie, yeah, dude. was 10,000 times better than that speech we just dude, saw. What about Theoden before the, fucking, sucked. before the fucking Rohirrim ride down the hill? Come on, TJ. I teared up the first time I saw that. Piece of shit. The engine room from an attacking army with very little effort. This sucks. Entire defense strategy would be intent on people entering through the door. Hey, Paul. Yeah. This movie sucks. Yeah, it does. You're right. Surprise for everyone. I hate this. I am not enjoying this motion picture. I'm just trimming these ferns. <laughs> what? Young lady. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? You're much more attractive with your mouth shut. Bring it uh, to my mouth. Pretty much the same <laughs> level of not attractive. <laughs> Give her a wedgie. Hey, leave leave my grandma alone, please. Let's go. <laughs> I don't get it. What's up with the dude's hair on the left? Never mind. Go get He's lead. gone now. He's gone. Who cares? Commander, message coming through on channel 16. <laughs> channel 16, you said. <laughs> Isn't this usually yeah. news time on I channel 16? <laughs> channel oh, 16. shit. You have 12 hours to surrender the bridge. Otherwise, so wait. Will be jettisoned into space. Okay. I just, oh. I just let him do it. Kalgan lives like that, sir. He lives by the sword. He's evil, ruthless. There are many people on board this ship, sir. We have to fight back. Go on. Sir, we both know that there's only one man on the ship who's capable of combat. Zap Brandon. Who's had the training physically and mentally. <laughs> Dick Ryder. We will prepare for battle. All right. Battle time. Thank you, dear. What were you doing the, all the other times you were shooting lasers at people? <laughs> that wasn't battle time? Flight Commander Ryder, report to the bridge. Ermac. Ermac was never that shitty. <laughs> he was in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. He was not that shitty in Annihilation. I don't know. Oh. I think he was. He was a little better than that. <laughs> Wait, what? What kind of fucking door was that? So, 
Uh, once again, I'm actually... I don't know why I'm actually asking a question about this fucking movie's plot, but... Uh-huh. There's a mutiny going on. Why does he just let his daughter walk around in some arboretum unguarded and shit? She had to trim the ferns. Who, who else is gonna trim the fucking ferns? I don't know, that's a good point. Ah, <laughs> well, and the award for best fight scene of all time. <laughs> Step aside, old boy. Space mutiny's here. This knockdown, drag out, snooze fest of a fucking fight. Dude, you're not even putting good music over this. It, yeah, it sounds like Legend of Zelda music when you first, like, see Ganon for the first time. Not space dude beating the shit out of people. Man, all I just really, like... God damn it, doesn't this scene just beg to have an actually attractive fucking woman in it? I don't know. I mean, she's strapped to a table, she's getting lasers. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but have some dough and smoke salvia every day. I don't know that I'd recommend that, but thank you. I would. Yeah, go ahead, CJ. How about your father's contingency plans? What a waste. Jeez. Wow. Blow my eardrums out, why don't you? What a great cut. What's he wearing a garbage bag? What the fuck is what is the pants? Yeah. And for some reason, as he's skulking around here beating everybody up, his fucking wife beater never gets dirty. It's always just like nice and clean looking. What happened to all the lasers people had before? Now they just It's all fisticuffs from here and a Hey TJ and Paul, one of your biggest fans here. How was the smoke sesh? It was actually really good. Yeah, it was kinda cool. Not an, I mean, uh, it was kinda crazy how few people turned up for it, but Man, we had an awesome conversation. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. What a shame to burn out these lovely teeth. I want those countermeasures! Burn out her teeth? That's the torture you've chosen? I mean... I sounds mean, like it probably whatever. hurt. That wouldn't be my fetish, but... Go ahead. Burn her teeth out. Me! Um... That's an unusual choice of I torture. I mean, I'll give this movie this. I've never seen another movie where a woman's teeth were tortured with a laser. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of one offhand. I mean, that's, you know, it came up with something original. This is the scene that really makes this movie. All right, then. So it didn't really I guess do they're done do with that. It didn't even do anything to her teeth. I, uh, yeah, they look fine. Shouldn't she be like all missing teeth and shit? Business. Yeah. I don't know. I'd better get back to the engine room before they miss me. Oh, I'll take it. Man, I miss what's his face. <laughs> They're dancing around missing him. Where is he? I miss his greasy hair. <laughs> I'm Murray. Is Joseph here? I haven't yeah. That's that's the what? Hey Murray, it's Joseph here down at the corner deli getting a fucking pastrami on rye. What do you what do you want me to do? I'm guarding this whole little bitch. Fucking whore. Hey. What? I thought she was gonna get away. They didn't even use that. Okay, that that's the worst restraint system I've ever seen. No. <laughs> He's talking to me. All right. All right. What you want? Close. It seems a little dangerous, but all right. You're fucking 40. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. This dude was enticed <laughs> over there to make out with that cougar. <laughs> Dear Gilf's Forum, you're never gonna believe this. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> what? I'm not looking at this anymore. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see what happens. I'm in it. 
I learned a long time ago that it was better to just suffer through awkward sex scenes than to turn away from them. Let's have a look. Wait. <laughs> Move over John Wick, There's discount no Dolph Lundgren's here. Yeah, Everything dude. Everything. No. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> whatever. Uh, this is still happening. Kicking ass and taking names. I didn't see him take any names. Oh, I don't want to see this guy get naked. That's for sure. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Keep your keep your underwear on, please. My shoe. So My shoe. Worship the shoe. Oh, clever plan. Okay. Da 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 what took you Let's so long? Let's get his more. clothes. Let's leave his clothes on. <laughs> yeah, get him up and make him put his clothes back on. <laughs> <laughs> then shoot him. Ah! What the fuck? I don't know, Paul. What's with the like? There's some BDS. There really is, in this dude. Fucking movie. There really is. That whole tooth thing. That was. That's oddly. That's an odd choice for a torture device. Yeah, that's somebody somebody's had a like. Yeah, torture her teeth. The people wrapped in fucking saran wrap. And then he escapes. She ties her up. She ties him up, you know? Leaves him there all humiliated like the pig he is. Heats up a tooth until it melts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody out there, dude. From captive to captor. Oh, yeah. Get ready to move. Get ready to move. What are you fucking like? You guys are running away. She's already ready to fucking move. Looks clear. It's not. There's guys right there. You just ran in on the, We saw them. How did it look clear? You retard. Oh my god. Wouldn't this scene be cooler if the people with hula hoops and shit were still there dancing and Doing some of them the are thing. getting shot down in yeah. the crossfire and shit? <laughs> One of them have like a laser hula hoop and join the fight. Yeah. But nah. <laughs> Missed opportunity, Space Mutiny. It starts reflecting shots back with the hula hoop, dude. We could, we could dress this up, dude. We could really release Space Mutiny. Dude, I wish we had the Space Mutiny set. <laughs> <coughs> wow, he tripped him. Space and Mutiny. And then she stepped on his foot. Uh, no. Hiya. That was so under fucking whelming. I couldn't even <laughs> think of. Weird. I couldn't even think of something to say during that. No, I'm trying to oh, give yeah. Space we Mutiny a chance, you know. To <laughs> let's, let's hear what it has to say, you know. Oh my god, why would they put the villain in that little golf cart dorky thing? Why would they even have that as a fucking prop in the movie? Um. <laughs> I mean, it kind of seems like they had enough of a budget to have made a better movie than this, is the sad thing. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, <laughs> sets and shit that are clearly custom. Like, this, this like, is just locational. They just got, like, a sure. fucking... This is, I mean, this fucking one is just some fucking warehouse. Here, yeah, it's know. got a dirt floor, for fuck's sake. Like, why would there be a dirt floor in space. fucking building in space? <laughs> you know, no. Especially an industrial building. But, like, you Whatever. know, they had some effect shots. They had money for costume design, obviously, yeah. you know? I mean, a lot of that's just, like, you know, pretty typical shit. I don't like, think a lot of the budget went to the costume design. I'm gonna no. be honest. It does not cost much to get a bunch of fucking overalls and put but red triangles on I've them. seen a lot of movies that wouldn't even spring for that shit. Hey, you guys, let's yeah. See. Like, it seems like they had at least enough money to have made, maybe not a space movie, but to have made a better movie than this. Yeah. 
Like if they took the budget right, cool. for all of these things and condensed them into one or two costumes and did a smaller movie, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like this set here, like it's dog shit, but it cost money to build. Somebody like... Yeah, I mean like, you could... I mean, you know that it's supposed to be like some kind of command center of maybe a spaceship. Right. So a lot of budget went right here. And then tell McPherson our plan is operational. Put the entire squad on red alert. Dude, who are those fucking retards wearing like the fucking American gladiator shit? I don't know. I feel like I need a fucking field manual for like what all these different groups are in this fucking I gave movie. Up. I gave up trying to understand who was wearing what uniform a long time ago. I know the SS was bad, but one of the SS guys is good. I guess some of them are still good because they're still walking around with these guys. I don't know. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, husband and wife Man, reunited. Yes, David. McPherson's a traitor. Yes, I saw him with Calgon at the Enforcer's headquarters. Can't believe it. I mean, it could be... Dad, I saw... Could be what? Today. Today, that being the case, this is serious. He He's a double agent working for me, it. secretly, Dad, maybe. He knows all our countermeasures. Dad. I find this unbelievable. He's one of my best men. He's my chief engineer. Commander, if I may say so. Let me do my job. Now I'm coming with you. I'm coming He's going to betray him. Captain I'm coming three. As you please, Dave. But thank you. He's evil. Lee, you stay here. Commander. Oh, we're back to this scene. Yeah, I've seen these Here two. we are again. Have they been dancing this whole time? Yeah, these alien chicks. That's all they do is dance in front of the Spencer's <laughs> Gift electro ball. Cool. And they touch it every once in a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's enough of that, I guess. So glad we had that scene. I'm sure we would understand if we paid closer attention, TJ. Yeah, dude. That little curl coming in front of his fucking head, dude. I just want to be like, eh. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, is that a stylistic <coughs> choice on your part, or does it just do that? He's like a cut-rate Bond villain. Bond villains are always, like, crippled in some way, you know? Yeah, I don't trust a cripple. Never trust a crip, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Damn you. Damn you, movie. What is your issue with Marxism, Leninism? Fuck off! Stop right there. We're watching space. We're mutiny. watching Fuck fucking off. space mutiny. Eat a dick. <laughs> you fucking cocksucking weasel. Wasn't there a scene with blood at the very beginning of this movie? Didn't you say you saw blood? Yeah, there was blood, and then when he, the, when that dude, uh, when the. I ain't seen a fucking drop since the, that. Yeah, dude, you're right. But I mean, there was some. Like, somebody actually got shot with a laser at the beginning of the movie. Nobody has been shot with a laser since then. He doesn't even have any cover! I mean, someone was just shot a second ago. That's what I was talking about. Well, I saw some blood sprout forth from the wound. And then when the fucking evil guy with the cane stabbed that guy to death, there was blood everywhere. So, the bad guy just kind of hobbles by our hero. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, see? There you go. Ah! Give us a Wilhelm scream. Come on. I've been, I've been listening for it. No, I don't think so. Would have been a good place to use it, though. Yeah. War always brings out the worst in man. I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't know. This guy don't just know. comes out to grumble <laughs> philosophical musings every once in a while. He's like, whoa, it always brings out the word. 
penny saved is a penny earned. movie. Is there a weird little river of piss that's under the center of the room? What is that? Wait, none of those people reacted as he shot those people? So, we've gone through this whole movie and 82 people shooting each other, maybe two or three people have gotten shot. This dude manages to walk in and shoot six people. Yeah, now all of a sudden his aim See, is there was fucking a great. There was a little bit of blood there. Cool. But look at all these doofuses. None of these fuckers can hit shit. Yeah, not one of these motherfuckers can... ...can possibly land a fucking shot. He's on fire! <laughs> Out of my way, you idiot. You flaming retard. <laughs> you got set on fire, you idiot. Get out of my way and die. Damn, man. Those, that bazooka is dope. Yeah, I mean, they got some real explosions in this movie and shit. They had to pay someone to fucking put a bunch of laser shit in and post. Yeah. I mean, that's probably not super expensive, but... Get back to the engine room! Get back to the engine room! Ah! Oh my god, it's a propane tank! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> he's got a propane tank with a hose attached to it, and he's lugging that around. What a fucking advanced weapon. Oh, but it's all silver, so that's... What yeah. the fuck? In the future, things are silver. They couldn't have built, like, a box to go around the propane tank or some shit? That bleeped and blooped? I mean, they had all this money to build that other set. Nah, just spray paint the propane tank silver, TJ. It's good. My load is ready, Paul. Behemoth Monster Cream is coming for you soon. Load beard. Now, for the love of God, someone yiff things. Oh my god. Degenerate furries. Yeah. Fucking yeah. furry degenerate freak. Yeah, come back. Forget it, Daddy. You can't stop love. Can't stop love? Yeah, you could. You could just grab her and be like, don't go, bitch. You're stupid. You can't stop love. Can't stop love. See? No. Just another it's philosophical safe. musing from the bearded oh, one. Oh, yeah. Back to this important plot line. McPherson, your time has come. The first. The traveler has come. <laughs> Choose the ah, form look, he, of the destructor. He's injured. He's shooting pe better than anybody. Is he just the crack shot of the movie? He's the only one that knows how to aim. But not now, I bet. Yeah. Oh, nope. shit. Missed All twice the there. It was easy to hit all those other people. But no, this guy, for some reason. What? Look at her. McPherson! You're gonna break your hip! Why are you hanging there? No, you can't shoot her either. She landed in heels, dude. Boot heels. That's impressive. Why was she doing Navy SEAL maneuvers and boot heels? Because she's just that damn good, Paul. This situation ain't even worth taking her fucking high heels off for. Why do we need Navy SEAL is. maneuvers to shoot a dude that's dragging a leg? Can we just, like, <laughs> use our brains here? Stop. Stop. Runner! It doesn't have to be this way! What, with you at a total disadvantage? It does, yeah. About it. We can wipe this thing out! I didn't have anything to do with this! Methane gas. Danger. Doing, Oh, he's gonna ignite the methane. Oh, dude, and it's gonna stink, too. Alright, you still have plenty- get out! What an oddly dangerous thing to be able to do in a futuristic facility. Uh, just get out of the- you've had plenty of time, it's coming real slow. Oh, but he's crippled, dude, remember? He's dragging a leg, you he can't- He was jumping off of fucking shit earlier! Oh, now he's fine. The fire done woke him up. See, they had money to light people on fire and shit. That's what I'm, yeah, that does, you can't do that for cheap. 
You gotta get like a stuntman and permits and shit. Maybe they just set a homeless person on fire and lied <laughs> later and said they had permits. That was a paid stunt work guy. We didn't just find a homeless guy on the street and light him on fire, no siree. Oh shit, the orbs are still doing the... Oh! Oh! Forty nine ninety nine. Okay. it's Spencer. That still means nothing, great, good to know. Now she's got a triangle thing on. Okay, she, she's a triangler. I think she just I think she stole that from that guy. Or, oh yeah, that fat dude that she was made. I don't know. Making out with? I don't know. I'm not even pretending like I know what the fuck is going on anymore. Is there any weed left? No, I don't think so. Gay. That's not the issue. Your father should have stopped you. My father stopped interfering with my life when I was 15 years old. I have a lot of respect for your father. He's a good man. How many decades ago was that again? As well as he does ship. Control me. If I hadn't saved you in that engine room... Oh, come on. I would have got out of that situation. No problem. Well, that's gratitude. These two are a couple in real life? Because... Yes. Because they have no chemistry. Oh, never mind. Whatsoever. You really are stubborn. Like none. That sex scene that they didn't get to see most of was just weird. You'd think two people that were already fucking could simulate a fuck. There was no there was no passion. Maybe we were trolled in the chat. Maybe they weren't actually married. I don't know, it seemed legit. <laughs> It seemed legit. Does it really matter enough to... No, not really. Be, ...to apply our fucking... <laughs> I'm just trying to find something to do. I don't want to watch people <laughs> drive around in go-karts anymore. <laughs> ah, I love that face he just made, dude. He's all... Dude, I want them to make a fucking retro game called Space Mutiny Racer, where you get to race these through these fucking corridors. And yeah, shit. dude. And I want the controls to be intentionally terrible. Listen to that action. Clank, 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 clank. The payoff for every, like, winning every level could be, like, a, a, a maybe nudie pick, where it, is it a nipple or is it a shadow? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, of, of the same lady. I mean, whoever fucking worked on these was really fucking proud of them because they used these throughout the film. Well, I mean, they had them. You know what I mean? It's like, may, may as well use them as much as we can. I wonder if they really thought they were making something of Star Wars quality as this was happening. No, there's no way. They knew they were ripping people off. Well, maybe they didn't. I don't know. So you think it was just like, well, I used let's see to if we can get some suckers to see this Star Wars ripoff. I used to see, I used to say that about like Troll Two, but then I watched the documentary about it and found out that the guy genuinely thought that he was making a great film, and I was like, oh, maybe a lot of this schlock, like people really do believe they're doing something awesome. Get out of the way, bitch! You might become slightly injured. That looked, wow, like the, it, that looked like the fucking um, a murder she wrote scene for a second. I thought for a fucking second she was Angela Lansbury, dude. Shoot him! Juke to one side and then How he jumped. How fucking hard is it to shoot him? It was coming at you forever! You couldn't dodge that! You suck! Dude, a spry young lady like that couldn't get out of the way of... You know what I mean? Yeah, you know? I mean, she's only like 23. Yeah, if that. Ra. Uh, okay. That guy does not have a good war face. No. no. <laughs> uh, movie, you were trolling us all along. It was all building up to that, wasn't it? 
Oh, movie. You're, you're cute. Wow, two fucking golf carts. That's the finale. Two fucking golf carts crash into each other and explode into a fucking Michael Bay-esque ball of flames. Awesome. I knew it was all leading up to that. It's finished. <coughs> oh God. Da da Did I want the T one thousand to come out of there so fucking bad? Dun, 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 dun. Is this really how it wraps up? Are we really wrapping up now? That yeah. fucking golf cart fight that was, was the, the fu finale. That's what I said, Paul. That was the fu it was all leading I, up to I that. didn't think I didn't believe you until just oh no, never mind. No, this is just uh, that so was the just, climax. Yeah, this you're is just right. descending action now, I think. Yeah, it's all just bullshit. <laughs> the villain's dead, I mean the space mutiny's been defeated. These two are going off into the fucking sunset or Gonna... That's the exact same room. They just painted it different. Yeah. That's neat. That's obviously just some fucking industrial farming equipment behind them. Okay. Maybe there is something left going on. What's this? Da -na -da 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 -da. Okay. Are they are they teasing for a sequel? I maybe. Or were you wrong about that being the climax? I, I'm not We've sure yet. To have money. My flying wing drone is ready. Just finished semen delivery system. I'm using hollow nerf football. You're, yeah. Okay, thank you. You're gonna get load bearded by that drone. Paul. Sweet. Okay. Uh. Th what? So he's just horribly burned now. Oh shit. Space Mutiny fucking 2, bitch. He was not a villain worthy of a post, you know, movie wake up scene. Like, who cared about this dude? <laughs> He's back. What's his face is back. Well, once again, Paul, Space Mutiny 2 coming soon to a fucking theater near you, bitch. Oh, you know it, Paul. You thought there was only going to be one Space Mutiny? <laughs> Check out Space Mutiny 2. Why would they even bother doing that at the end of that? And then the guy that people probably wouldn't even remember who he is. <laughs> even if they do, they won't care about him. Wakes up! It's like, who cares? I hope he kills them all. Dude, that movie. guy was engulfed in flame earlier in the movie, yeah. and we saw his body just laying there burning, didn't we? Pretty or was sure. that, or was that the other guy? They All looked right. so much alike, I couldn't even tell which one it was supposed to fucking be. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, whatever. One of the bad guys lived, and ah, he's awake. I'm sure a sequel to Space Mutiny is right around the fucking corner. Paul, you know what? We should buy the rights to Space Mutiny and make a fucking sequel. We should. You know, it's Space it's a, Mutiny 2. It's a tried and true formula, dude. Tried and true. We'll get us a sassy older dame down on our luck. Oh, we're getting the same actors back, Paul. We're getting her back. And it's gonna be a prequel, so she's gonna be cast even younger in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Space Mutiny Origins, dude. Leah. The yeah. teenage Leah. <laughs> We're gonna see what she was like when she was a teenager. Now that she's probably eighty. Uh, so what do you what do you think of Space Mutiny? I mean, um, I, I, I mean, tried uh, to uh, I tried to find something to like about it. I really did. I tried to go into it with an open mind. I did like that there was excessive amounts of fire in the movie. Yeah, I guess. I mean, there was it was cool. There was fire. That was that was so made lame by the fact that he the the big fire scene was him shooting the flamethrower and he's lugging around a big fucking propane tank. Don't forget the golf cart crash either. Yeah, 
have, that, I've never seen outside of a comedy a lamer reason for an explosion to happen than that. Uh, it was unclear throughout the movie, like who the enemy was. Uh, by the way, those bitches dancing in that room with the Spencer's gift gloves that went nowhere. That amounted to nothing. Yep. It was just extra footage that they had that they weaved in. It was just like they knew some dancers and uh, they, the dancers, you know, promised they'd give them $5,000 if they featured the dancers prominently or something. And so they bought some Spencer's gift fucking globe electro shit and fucking had them dance and just cut scenes of them dancing throughout the movie for no fucking reason. And then at the end, they kept putting them closer and closer like it was actually building to something. You're like, where's this going? Absolutely nowhere, yep. Zville. Fucking nowhere. Um, this movie had three editors? Three editors worked on this? There were too many bad cuts to count in this movie. Too many weird, like, apropos of nothing scenes woven in. Too many factions. No movie needs more than one editor. No. And too few sets, honestly. Like, it was like an industrial place they filmed at that made, like, for several different places in the film. I don't know, dude. It was duty. <laughs> that was something, Paul. That was fucking something. So any of you guys want to uh, give us a little final, like, you know, thing? Consolation prize for having yeah, to sit make it through feel, that shit? Yeah, make it feel like this was maybe <laughs> worth it somehow. Yeah. You know, maybe take a little bit of the edge of the pain away so we can feel like we didn't just, just waste our fucking time as much as we just did. Yep. Well, now would be your chance for that. Throw a fucking desperate dying man a fucking life preserver. Throw him a bone, ah. Huh? Throw him a fucking bone or two, you goddamn cocksuckers. I guess we could take a look at the uh, <laughs> the actual chat, too, one last time. Yeah, let's bring them back, I guess. Hey, S chat. See what those of them that's still with us. Chat, what you fucking think, eh? I'm trying to find you. Shut up. There you is. There they is. Let's see. Where the fuck was it on this one? Yeah. This time, I, I just don't care. I'll be covered by the chat. I don't want to be seen by this world anymore. <laughs> you don't want to be associated with Space Mutant I don't. Anymore. I don't want to fucking... Yeah. I'm already ashamed enough. Foresters never show mercy. Good. Nothing can help you after watching that shit. That may be true. I'm yeah, pretty you're... devastated. It built to nothing. I, I was so shocked that it was over. Not that I wanted it to keep going on, but, just, <laughs> but it just didn't feel very climactic at all. Dude, no. I mean, I, I could tell that was the finale the second I saw it. I'm like, okay, that's the biggest explosion we've seen. That's probably the finale. Plus, it was the main villain that died and shit, so... Yeah. I mean, you know, you knew it was done. I guess he didn't die because of that big reveal there at the end when we saw that, you know... He lives. He lives. He lives. Good stuff. Yeah. Are we ever going to do a New York City meetup? Only if you give us money. <laughs> yeah. Only if someone fucking takes some semblance of fucking mercy on our souls and gives us some fucking money. That was a pretty good movie. Okay. Would I ever review John Carpenter's The Thing? Probably at some point. I like to rewatch movies, and that's one of the best ones to rewatch, dude. Earth is one big spaceship. Oh, I get it. That was the moral, huh? Someone says they want a t-shirt of your Cinema for Cynics ticket stub. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like could, it. We could hook that up. We could make that happen. Yeah, that might be a simple task. TJ Kirk smells? Why are you so fucking mean? You guys are cocksuckers. Hey, I'll even turn on the fucking uh, voice chat on this thing. The voice chat? Not the voice chat. Uh, what is it called? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's covering it now. Whatever. <clears throat> if you load beard yourself, you can like put it over here. beat everyone else to it. How do you know I haven't load bearded myself? 
Maybe even accidentally. Yeah. <clears throat> it's probably happened. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Where the fuck is this shit? Alert box. TJ trying to figure out Streamlabs. Yeah. Alert verification. Goddamn, I'm high as fuck. Yeah, me too. I'm trying to fucking do this high as shit. Um, you want an encore? Well, we'll keep doing these. I mean, I don't know if this one has a snowball's chance in hell of staying up on YouTube, but if it does... If it's not on YouTube, it's going to be on uh, my VidMe page. Yeah, we'll get you a link to it. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm looking for the thing that says text-to-speech. That's this. So I just need to turn it on. So I'll enable that. Save set. Sweet. So that should make, let's just do a test. It sometimes takes a minute to go through though. We've got to have money. This is a test donation for dollar. Yeah, test donation for dollar. You can make <laughs> you can make that bitch read whatever you want on this stream. I love I love chunk, dude. We're gonna take this off. I love chunk. You can make that bitch say whatever you want her to say. She's your fucking slave. <laughs> She's your fucking slave. Come on, man. Dude, I'm gonna set it. Soon. Digital voice chicks have agency. TV, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have to I'm call gonna set you out. this fucking low too. For as little as a dollar, you can make her say where the fuck you want. Oh God. <laughs> so fucking, it's it's open season, man. Get her on here. Get her talking. Get her blabbing her mouth off. She, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't think I. <laughs> yeah, for a dollar, just one dollar, <laughs> she'll read your shit. I promise, dude. TJ, you scam artist. She gonna read it. She ain't gonna read. She shit. gonna read it. She gonna read it, Paul. Not for a dollar, dude. For one dollar, Paul. For a measly dollar, just go to the fucking Streamlabs link down there. She'll read your shit. <laughs> For as little as one single dollar. For as little as a dollar. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they're stingy. Come well, on, guys. Quite a few people donated during the stream. Nah. We're appreciative of those people. But all these other fuckers can kiss my ass, man. Well, you know, whatever. No. Most, most people leave Bullshit. during the credits, you know what I mean? Bullshit, Paul. They saw the credits, they were like, Bullshit. all right. Bullshit. Give us your fucking money. <laughs> Give us your fucking money, you cocksuckers. Money. There you go. Puppies are cute. Damn right they're fucking cute. Puppies are fucking cute. Cocksuckers. <laughs> cocksuckers. You fucking cocksuckers. I tell you what. We'll put lipstick on Paul. No. No, for dude. For a dollar. No, dude. For one fucking measly dollar. <laughs> lipstick everywhere. Not gonna happen. For one fucking dollar. Shave off his whole fucking beard. Yeah, dude. TJ will For do one dollar. Draw freckles on his face. <laughs> one fucking measly dollar. That's all I need. Is this what YouTube has become, TJ? This is what YouTube's always been. <laughs> Lipstick on a Paul's ego pig, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> one, one form of fucking... I'm a whore. I'm a fucking whore. <laughs> I will strangle you, spit on you, then whip you. You are nothing to me. I lied about uh, it being a dollar to get your chat read. It actually cost ten. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lie. TJ, you're such a piece of shit, dude. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll actually make it fucking five. <laughs> Boom. See? Paul, you're an honest man. You can confirm I wrote a five there. Yeah, you did. You can confirm it. Save it. Paul, you can go home if you want. I'm just going to be here. I'm just going to shill all night. I'm just going to be here shilling all night long, Paul. You're going to shill all night? I'm going to get Cinema for Cynics up to a million fucking dollars, Paul. Tonight? Tonight! Tonight! Millionaires tonight, Paul! <laughs> Random, spontaneous, out of control stream to a million dollars. That's the ticket, Paul. One million dollars. You know how many movies you can review for a million dollars, Paul? A lot of movies. None, because you have a million dollars. You don't need to review movies no more, Paul. One million dollars! 
What? <sighs> what? I don't know. All right. <laughs> if no one gives a shit, we'll just leave. Yeah, it it's it's time to go. Good night, everybody. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna give him a second. All right, give him a second. I'll, I'll fucking give him a second, man. Give him a second. Give him a fucking second. You can use the super chat too. <laughs> Are you trying your Jedi mind trick on him now, dude? Yeah, dude. Come on, audience. You remember when I said goodnight earlier? <laughs> That's probably where you should have ended it, dude. No. They're not, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're not donating just so we stay longer. Like, that's the point. Oh, no, man. You see? You've, you've put us in an unwinnable scenario, dude. The catch-22. <laughs> We're... We're <laughs> fucked either way. I'm just here forever. I'm here forever. You're here forever? I told you you could go. I told you you could go, Paul. I told you you could go. I'm staying. <laughs> I'm staying here, Paul. Forever. I keep moving from this fucking spot, Paul. This is eternal now. This is my life from here on out. <laughs> That's bullshit. This is just me. Just me and this stream <laughs> and this camera and a dream. A dream, Paul dream of a better tomorrow <laughs> all right this has been a uh, yes this has been cinema Cynic, versus, Cynic, uh, cinema versus versus cinema on uh on on cinema for cynics on cinema for cynics yeah watching um fucking space mutiny S space mutiny here thanks for watching Let's watch it again Let's just not keep dude. watching it over and no over. dude <laughs> don't restart that I'm just gonna watch it again no dude it's time to watch one more time, Paul. Oh, no, dude. It gets better on the second viewing, Paul. It's so much better. Look. Dude, I've got to... No, dude. I'm not going to do this. <laughs> no, we got to watch it again, No, I give, Paul. dude. I give we up. we got to watch it one more I time, I tap out. Paul. I'm not watching this shit we gotta again. we got to watch it one more time. No. No, dude. No.